Hello, my name is Madeline Rose and I'm the Collections Technician here at the Arkansas Archaeological Survey. And today I'll be showing you our 3D scanning lab. We created this lab a couple years ago um, to make archaeological artifacts more accessible to the public through virtual museum and uh, 3D printed objects. So we use the Artex Space Spider camera. Um, it's a handheld, lightweight 3D camera. There are five separate cameras on the surface, which take hundreds of different photographs of the artifact as you're scanning it. So usually, when you turn it on, it'll be flashing lights, but for today's purposes, we are not going to turn it on. So we'll set the artifact on this platform. We'll turn on the scanner and spin the artifact around as we scan it. So that way this is capturing hundreds of photos of the surface of the artifact. So I usually take about four to five scans per artifact. Um, and then and within each scan, there's usually about 300 to 600 images within that scan. So after we get four to five scans of the artifact, we then go through several different processes on the computer. So the first process we go through is called global registration. So global registration will take all of the images within all of the scans and pick out the best ones to create a more accurate picture overall of the artifact. From there, we will go and do outlier removal, which will take out all of the excess um, scans that we don't want. So all of the fuzzy bits that are here in the image. So after that, we'll go and do something called sharp fusion. And sharp fusion takes away all of the texture from the artifact. And the texture is any color that is on the artifact. And with sharp fusion, we are able to see any markings or chips that we wouldn't otherwise see on an, on an artifact. And after that, we will go ahead and add the texture back onto the artifact. And so we will have a complete scan with the ability to see with and without texture. So after we finish processing our 3D scans, we are able to then 3D print the artifacts. So we use a plastic filament to print our artifacts. Um, the printer will heat up and melt the plastic onto this base. And from there, it will create a 3D printed artifact. So from all of the artifacts that we have 3D scanned, we've created an online database. This is our um, University of Arkansas Virtual Museum database. So when you first get to the website, you'll see a page like this. And you can click on every artifact and you can manipulate them. So you can zoom in, you can zoom out, you can change the lighting, you can measure the artifact. You can also uh, remove the texture. So this is what I was talking about earlier with the sharp fusion. We can remove the texture and that way you know you can see the engraving better on this artifact. You can also see some information that we have about the artifact to learn a little more information.